Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you're all doing fantastically well. So in today's episode, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to download Kodi and SPMC using ES File Explorer. So I'm doing this on my phone, but if you're using uh, an Amazon Fire TV box or a Fire Stick, it's really important that you do these steps first. So uh, what, what you want to do first, guys, is you want to go into your settings on your on your fire stick or your firebox and then go to system and then you'll see a little tab that's called developer options now what you need to do there's two options there there's allow third party apps you need to tick that onto on or yes and adb debugging you want to tick that to on as well guys that essentially will allow you to install both Kodi and spmc after you've done that if you don't have es file explorer on your Fire Stick or, or any of your Android devices, you can download it through there. On there, I think uh, the Amazon have it actually on their App Store. So just download it through there, guys. And once you have done them two two steps and you've downloaded ES, now what we want to do is you want to open the ES File Explorer. So as you can see, when it's opened, it looks like this. So from here, as you, can, you see the three little lines in the top left hand corner. What you want to do, guys is you want to click that okay then you want to scroll down to favorites just there now it will say add download news where we want to add okay so now it, we're going to add a web address so we'll do Kodi first I mean you can do this for Kodi 16.1 or you could do it for Kodi 17 because I believe they're both on there so what you want to do is you want to type in this address guys Okay, it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Cody dot TV. See, it's already done it for me. And then forward slash forward slash. download hit next hit done oh and let's name it Cody then add so as soon as we add this so there we go bookmark Cody created successfully right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same process again but we're gonna add SPMC so it's the same process again hit the three lines hit add on favorite hit the path it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash SPMC dot SEMP uh, packs dot com. It done. You want to name it SPMC. both added so now we've added them both you want to hit the three lines again so we have saved the favorite so if you scroll down unable favorite now you should see scroll down there we go see it down there it's inside still inside the favorites folder and there we have Cody and SPMC now, literally, as soon as we click one of them, it's going to take us to the web address that, that we have just put in. So, um, let's do SPMC first. So, you click that, opens up the web address. There we go, guys. It's now on the SPMC website. So now, what you want to do, guys, um, obviously, it's got the Google Play link there, but we don't want that. If we just type this, it's the ARM32 APK link. There we go, guys. It's installing now. It really is that easy. It'd be the same process on any Android box, guys. It would just, obviously, you go into favourites, um, you you add a bookmark. It essentially, you add it. I mean, you can do that with any, any app, guys, that, that you can install on there. If you find the web address for it, write down the web address. And do it. So now it's going to tell us 
we can open the file or we can open the file. Let's open the file. So now we have to install this. Obviously my settings have changed, but if there we go, okay. Install SPMC. Shouldn't take too long. And all this is really is, is really easy. This is more aimed at for like um, your fire sticks and stuff like that. It's, it means you don't have to because obviously Cody and SPMC are not on the, the Amazon market. Um, so it sometimes it can be a bit difficult. Someone's like, oh, how to get this, how to get that. It's really easy, guys. It's really straightforward. So let's open SPMC. There we go, guys. It's done. So what we're going to do now mm -hmm. is we're now going to do the Kodi. So you go back to go back to ES File Explorer. Obviously, we've we left off here. What we want to do is click on Kodi, and now it will bring you to the. It should bring you to. The, there we go. We're at the Kodi website. So from here. You can download 17.0, which is Krypton. A lot of people say, oh, no, it's not stable. Wait till it comes out. I I use 17. I've used 17 before. I've used it with, with add-ons. Uh, I, I think it runs fine, guys. But at the end of the day, you can wait for a stable release if you want. But we're not going to do that. We're going to get 16.1. So scroll down. Here we go here. It's got 16.1. Java. So you want to hit, not the Google Play. You want to see that it says Android Google Play or APK install ARM X. 86. Click on that one. Installs. Wait for it to install. Shouldn't take too long. Like, we've got like 10 seconds left remaining. So once you've done that, it should just do, do a little pop up. Three, two, one, zero. Now again, it it asks us to open the folder or open the file. We're going to open the file. It then prompts us to install that. So we're going to install that. Obviously, my settings are always different to this, but if you're doing it on your Fire Stick and app, because you've already allowed third-party apps, that prompt wouldn't come up. It would just it would just go to install. Like it'd skip this bit here and it'd go to this bit here and install. Shouldn't take too long. I mean, this this is the easiest way possible that you can put Kodi onto your device. Right, there, there isn't an easier way. It cannot get any easier than this. This is, this is easy. Yeah, my, my six-year-old son could possibly do this, guys. Right, it is so easy. And click open. There we go, guys. We've got Cody 16.1 Jarvis. There you go. So as you said, it's really easy, guys. So that's it for today's episode, guys. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that like button. Can we get another five likes? That'd be absolutely amazing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. And until next time, I shall see you later. Bye-bye.